Hey besties, welcome to the life of Jeannie as I try to find joy in my life and hopefully help you find yours. If you already follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I'm sure you know that I have a ton of wigs because I play a lot of characters in order to play the characters. I need the wigs. So today I'm so excited to share with you my full collection of wigs. So let's go. So before I actually get into my real hair, I kind of want to show you this wig here. This one here is the new Alexa wig. I just got this one yesterday. Bulimi Hair sent this one to me. I absolutely love it. Look at the wigs! It's so pretty. So most of my wigs are actually from Bulimi Hair. Uh, I was buying their wigs for years. I feel like they have such amazing quality and so much variety to choose from and so many hairstyles. Uh, they do offer um, a lot of synthetic wigs such as this one which is a bit more cost effective than the real ones that's for sure. The real hair wigs uh, go, can go into the hundreds of dollars whereas this one here is about $70 so each wig that they have is about $70 which is super affordable um, and uh, I, I could have more of a variety. Of course, there's pros and cons to having synthetic hair, but we'll get into that. So you guys can see that this wig, it looks very, very natural. You know, I'm gonna show you the back. I do love that it always has like an ombre effect. And even though they're synthetic, they have like these natural highlights in them that make them look so real. Like people don't know that this is a wig and that's exactly how I like it. I want it to look as natural as possible. And usually synthetic wigs have that weird plastic shine to it. Like this is great, right? Doesn't it look natural? But let's answer this question. Why do I even wear wigs? Well, I do make a lot of skits online on my TikTok and Instagram. So in order for me to change into characters, different characters, I change my hairstyle, the wigs and it definitely helps build that character for me. So that is one reason. The most important reason though, that I actually wear wigs uh, is due to, so now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take off this wig. Uh, I just have to it. So these wigs are front lace wigs uh, and they have these little clip-on things here that keep your hair in place, which I love because it's super easy. So they just snap on and off and you just pull it right off, like that. See? And they also have this, um, I don't know what you call it, another little clip inside to keep it in place here so it doesn't move. And uh, well, right now I'm just kind of, I didn't really do it properly because I'm gonna be wearing a lot of the wigs for you today. Uh, but the proper way to actually do it is to make it look more natural. There is like a wig glue and things like that. If you guys can see it here like that, and then you, place it, put it in place. So these are the little clips that snap on and off. Okay. And that's it. These wigs um, are heat resistant. So if you want to uh, use a flat iron, I believe it's up to 350 degrees, you're able to use it. And so you can straighten it, curl it. So they're almost like real hair. So how cool is that, right? I kind of want to get into my real hair. So this is actually my real hair. It's rarely seen. I never usually show my real hair, and this is why. So that's my hair. Um, I've been having a lot of problems these past few years of uh, hair falling out, like a substantial amount of hair. Meaning every time I take a shower, or even if I get out of bed, I, I just leave trails of hair, like chunks of hair would fall out. Uh, and I did end up going to a dermatologist um, to figure out what is going on, but I just want to show you to what extent, like this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like I have a, a lot of hair thinning, a lot of hair loss, it's just like all around, you know, it's just all gone. And I couldn't figure out why, so I did go I did go to the dermatologist and the, the scary thing was, is they're like, okay, well, it's probably stress. And I'm like, all right, you know, 
Uh, but I'm, I'm stressed over the fact that I'm having hair loss and it's like a vicious cycle. I'm like, okay, so whatever. Uh, what can I do kind of thing, right? And they gave me the option of taking Rogaine. And I'm like, oh, Rogaine, okay. Um, clearly says for men only, uh, but she's like, just forget about that, you can use it, but I'm gonna warn you that uh, before your hair stops falling out, it will fall out a lot. Just like, huh? Excuse me, what? Yeah, they're like, actually, um, you may not, you probably won't grow any more hair, it's just that it's to prevent it from falling out in the future. So I, I don't know, I kind of opted out not to do it. There was another a more aggressive way to stop hair loss and that was to take a bunch of pills uh, and she's like, listen, that's something that they don't recommend just because it messes with your home hormones. But if you do want to try to go a more aggressive route, there is that for you. And I was just like, no, I don't want to do that. I lost a lot of self-confidence because of this, because my hair was just like, I, you guys think like this is fine. Right? Just, just because I had it in a bun and stuff, but if I s try to straighten it or um, style it, there's nothing there. There's absolutely no volume. <laughs> and I just, I just became really sad. Um, and I just didn't feel good. You know what I mean? Like, I, like even if I did, I did amazing makeup and wore amazing clothes and my just hair was just crap, I just didn't have the confidence to go out and I just didn't feel like myself. I'm gonna show you to what extent how much hair that I actually have. You see this one little tiny bobby pin? One little bobby pin, all right? I can tie my hair with one little bobby pin. And if you guys have seen me just do my hair in this like little bun, you'll notice that like you can see all my bald spots. Like you'll just see it. So. Um, that's why I rarely kind of go out like that just cause, I don't know, I just, yeah, I don't feel good about myself when I do that, but you know, I'm getting used to it. See, one bobby pin. Tie my hair with So yeah, the wigs have definitely helped me build my confidence. I feel like a badass bee. Whenever I, I have my wigs on, it, it makes me feel beautiful, I feel so confident, um, and I'm gonna tell you, I get so many compliments going out in my wigs, you know, all the girls love it, and they're like, oh, what'd you get? I love your hair, and then when I tell them that it's a wig, they're just like, oh, because it looks that real. Another reason why I love to wear wigs is that even, say I had my full set of hair, and I loved it. If I wanted to dye my hair to get it pink or platinum or whatever, it's gonna damage my hair so much. Uh, and I've done it before. Like when I was in high school, I used to change my hair color every couple weeks and I did it out of the box. Like I did it myself. I went all colors of the rainbow, green, purple, blue. I've dyed it everything and I've severely damaged my hair. So. I mean, that could have played a role in my hair loss. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised because I did a lot of things to my hair that I should, probably shouldn't have. Uh, I mean, if you get it professionally done, that's another story, but... I mean, changing your hair color all the time... Whew, that That's gonna do something to your hair. So, that's another reason um, if you want to protect your hair but have another hairstyle. Hey, get a wig! Okay, I'm literally talking too much now, so let's get to the fun part, which is actually showing you guys little wigs. And for that, I'm just literally just gonna tie my hair back uh, in a low bun. Usually, if I'm gonna do this properly, I wouldn't do the bun because then there's going to be a big lump in the back. Uh, I would pr most likely do like a French twist. Um, they, all the Bellini hair wigs, they do come with a wig cap, so you can use that as well. Uh, but for this sake, I'm just going to um, put it in a low bun. This is one of my favorite wigs uh, during spring and summer. I, I got so many compliments for this one. This one is called Felicia. Felicia from uh, Bellini Hair. Like I get so many compliments whenever I go out for this one. It doesn't it look real? Like it's pink, pink. But because of this, 
you know, the roots, the dark roots, and I chose this for a reason. It just makes it look like it's more natural, like it, like I dyed my hair. Oh, I'm sure you guys have seen this bad boy before. <laughs> I've used this for so many characters. I've used it for J-Hope. This is my go-to Karen wig. So let me put this on and I'll, I'll show you how I style it for each character. <laughs> the ones with these butterfly clips that I put on, this is for Korean mom. So my mom definitely had hair like this. All the Korean ajumas and Korean moms, they love this hairstyle. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but yeah. So that's, that's Korean mom with these little hair clips. Whenever I just kind of push it down, this was supposed to be my male J-Hope wig, like the Korean boy, Korean K-pop, you know? And then whenever I want to do be a Karen, Karen has this like, I don't know why they do this, like the peacock, peacock front. You know, it just reminds me of Karen. Like, it just screams Karen. This is my most popular wig, the one that I wear almost daily because this is my flight attendant costume. Uh, this hair is part of it. This one is Bellini Hair's Maya, and uh, I definitely love this one just because it, it fits my face. It kind of looks like it's my hair. Uh, it's just a, uh, just a tiny color fade here. Uh, I feel like it's the same as the, the, the first one that I've shown you, uh, but this one is just straight. And I've definitely used this one way too much. It's a little bit tangled now, so I gotta figure out a way how to how to s untangle it, and I'll see, show you what I mean. Like right here, <laughs> it's all matted. Oh my goodness! I don't know if you guys can see that, it's like it's like matted. And this is from me <laughs> wig snatching in my skits and throwing my wigs around. Um, so because of the fact that it's synthetic, it, it kind of it's really hard to brush out. Uh, so I definitely got to figure out a way how to unmat this. Like, look at this. I will probably buy another one because I really, really love this wig. This one's one of my favorites. This wig here is definitely not Bellini hair. <laughs> this one I got off Amazon because I was doing this Little Mermaid skit when I uh, went on a trip to um, to the islands. So I just bought this. It was like $20 off Amazon. But for sure, I mean, for a future cosplay, I can definitely use this, which is why I'm just having it around. But yeah. I'm sure you have seen this wig around. This one is actually 100% human hair. This was my mom's hair. Uh, she got it at a salon when she saw it um, and she just wanted to switch her hairstyle up. So she ended up buying this. This hair I actually got from Bellini Hair as well. I just love the fact that hey, if I want, if I wanted a short, a short wave, this is a cute option. I just checked on their website and they don't actually sell this one anymore, so I don't really know the name of it. Um, but I, I like this one. I think this is so cute, and hopefully they bring it back. Uh, but yeah, this is just like something short for those that may not want to cut their hair and want short hair. This is like, it looks real, right? <laughs> this one is uh, called Nala from Bellini Hair. This one is also one of my favorite wigs that I wore a lot, especially during the summer, uh, during spring and summer. It's just so nice. Can you imagine trying to dye your hair like this and keeping it this long? <laughs> I think it would fry your hair. So uh, if you wanted a nice, like, a nice, like this to make it look natural, a nice blonde. Here it is. Um, it's a little, sorry, it's a little matted. I probably need um, a new one for this year too, but that's that. So this week here is also from Bellini Hair. It's called Angelica. I love this one. This is also one of my top favorite ones. Just because of the color, it's so unique. I get so many compliments when I go out. It's like a gray, purple, I don't know, I, I don't really know, just, the color is just so nice, and then when you're in the sun, it just kind of just pops, it just pops everything that you wear, so um, definitely, if you're looking for a very, very cool wig that's going to draw some attention, this one is a good one. This one is another Bellini hair wig. It's it's super long. It's very pink. 
Uh, it's brand new. I, I've never worn it and so that's why you still see the front lace over here that I didn't even cut out yet. Um, I was gonna cut it out when I actually used it, but I never got to. I bought this one for festivals. Like uh, a really cute festival look, but clearly because of COVID. I don't know when that's gonna be. So I, I don't really know when I'm going to wear this bad boy. It's more of a party one. So excuse me, I know this one's gonna look weird because it still has a front lace, but I do wanna show you what it looks like. I think it was called Candy or something. I, they don't have this one anymore. Um, but yeah, like I wanted to use this for parties <laughs> and I wanted to like, make cute space buns and stuff for it so maybe I'll use this for like a cosplay look later on in the future but this one is also brand new it's like a purple tint and this one's called Julieta from Bellini hair I still have the front lace on there um, so it looks a little strange but but anyway I just want to show you guys the color and what it looks like this is a beautiful purple with some waves that's what that, this one looks like. This is actually cute too. I should wear this one more. I should wear this one out. I think I would wear this one out. Um, I just never had a chance to go out anywhere, so. So this wig here is called Zara, also from Bellini Hair. Uh, out of all the wigs, I would probably say this one is my least favorite, uh, just because it doesn't look it doesn't match me not because the hair is not great it just for me on my look it doesn't look natural it's just not my style per se this wig is so bad <laughs> I got this at value village it's like a thrift store uh, it was actually one piece it's like a mullet thing for Halloween I bought it so I can look look like Hagrid from Harry Potter for one of my skits and I, I needed something and I, did, I couldn't find a Hagrid wig. So I, I decided to make one. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's just, it's just this. It was from the back of the mullet. I cut it and turned it, <laughs> turned it into a beard. And I do want to share with you two new additions. Well, three new additions that I just got yesterday that Bellini Hair sent me. Uh, the one from the beginning, which is seriously my new favorite. This one I haven't tried on yet, so I'm not sure. I did want a shorter blonde, not the wavy one, um, because that didn't look good on me, but I didn't get to cut this one yet. So this one is Layla, all right? All right, so let me just try to put this blood boy on. So this is the Layla wig. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I like you. This one, I, I would totally wear it for the summer. I think we'll look bomb. Oh yeah. All right, and last, I have the Isabella wig. This is also brand new that I got yesterday. Um, this one is completely natural. It's just, it's just a, like a medium brown hair. Uh, also, I didn't, I didn't get to cut it, but let's just take a look. And what it kind of looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's so silky. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. It's a little weird because I didn't cut this part, but wow. So this wig here is the Isabella. Oh, wow. Isabella wig. I like it. Oh my goodness. This definitely seems like obviously natural, but like, wow. Well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my collection. Of course, I'm adding more wigs as time passes because, well, I'm obsessed. So yeah, depending on my mood, I'll keep adding them. And as I do, you'll get to see them and I'll share it with you. But make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow me on my socials, and you get to see, now you know, like if you see any photos or videos of some of my wigs, you'll get to see.
Believe Me Hair did also give me a discount code for all of my besties. So if there's any of these wigs that you like, you can get them at a discount, which is a bonus. I'll put it uh, in the description for you uh, so you can grab one of these. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!